My name's Pardis Parker. I live in Los Angeles, but I'm from Canada. If you guys want evidence that I'm Canadian, this is a true story. I once had someone ride over my foot with their bicycle, and I said sorry. <laughs> and then I said thank you. It's a true story. And then we both did shots of maple syrup. And then we made out in the snow. It was quite, it was lovely. I apologize for everything, man, I do. I apologize the first time a girl told me she loved me. I was just like, sorry? <clears throat> Here's what's really funny. There's a Canadian city called Surrey, S-U-R-R-E-Y. It's right next to us. Surrey is filled with Indian and South Asian people. So it has a bunch of Indian and South Asian shops, stores, boutiques, the whole bit. Which means, at least once in history, the following scene has played out. Hey, where'd you get your sorry? Surrey. Sorry? <laughs> if you don't like that joke, sorry. <laughs> and also, thank you. <clears throat> So I'm from Canada, but I live in Los Angeles. And I think the biggest difference between Canada and L.A. is the extent to which people in L.A. fetishize wealth. Like, it's to the point where I'm shocked that there isn't a wealth category for adult videos. But then I thought about it, and I realized that those wealth fetish videos do exist. It's just they're not where you think they'd be. They're not on adult websites, no. They're on architecturaldigest.com. People just touring their massive estates while we sit at home watching on our laptops in the dark, going, show me, show me a closet that's way too big. Show me a closet so big you could house refugees in it. But don't, because then where would you keep your cufflinks? I'm terrified, man. I'm terrified that LA is changing me, that I'm becoming one of those people who chases money, who fetishizes wealth, who wants to be a billionaire. When I say that, people get angry. They get defensive. It's like, well, what's wrong with being rich? What's wrong with being a billionaire? What's wrong with being financially savvy? And it's just like, yo, man, if you own a billion of anything, that doesn't make you savvy. That makes you a hoarder. Like, Like, there's no episode of Hoarders where they go into someone's house and see a billion pieces of unopened mail and are just like, man, this guy's savvy. <laughs> what a shrewd collector of unopened mail he is. I hope he writes a book. <laughs> People get angry, man. They get defensive. They're just like, oh, there's valid reasons to be rich. There's valid reasons to be rich. I just want to be rich to build generational wealth. That's it. I just want to build generational wealth. And it's just like, yo, man. Why would you do that to your kids? Like no one's favorite kid at school was Bentley Worthington III. <laughs> like no one has fond memories of Cadbury Money Nuts Jr. <laughs> of the famous Money Nuts clan who made their fortune in shipping. No one needs it, man. No one needs it. People get angry. They're just like, oh, this is, there's personal reasons to want to be rich. Like, the only reason why I want to be rich is to cement my legacy. That's it. I just want to cement my legacy. And it's just like, yo, man, being rich isn't going to make history remember you. You know how I know? There's 2,668 billionaires on the planet right now. Name them. You can't. And that's why they're still alive. I mean, hell, there's 12 billionaires in this room right now and we don't know who they are. They're sitting next to us, picking their nose, and we're just like, man, I hope things work out for this guy. <laughs> being a billionaire, man, being rich isn't gonna make history remember you. It's not gonna, it's not gonna leave you a legacy. You wanna leave a legacy, there's only one thing you need to do. You wanna leave a legacy, you just need to be the one house on the street that gives out full-size chocolate bars for Halloween. That's it, that's it. Legacy cemented. It's been 30 years since I went trick-or-treating and me and my brother still talk about 39 Grenon Drive. It's like who, Sam and Lucy? Oh, those people were saints. 
They were angels. Someone should build a statue in their honor to celebrate their legacy. And saying, rich people in the audience who were offended by those jokes, I only have one word for you. Sorry. <laughs> and also, thank you. Now let's go make out in the snow. My name's Pardis Parker. Thank you for coming to my second TED Talk. <laughs>